James Mathers at NAB 2022 for the Digital Cinema Society. I'm here at the Airy Lighting booth and uh, Marcus Klusener is going to tell us what's new with the Orbiter. Thanks James. So let's kick it off. So this year at NAB 2022 we're reintroducing the Orbiter with a whole bunch of new accessories. First up it's the docking ring. The docking ring is an ad adapter device that allows for the attachment of third-party projection optics as you can see here. So the docking ring will hold the lens shutter barrel and then later the projection optic uh, tube itself and with the QLM system you can easily mount it onto the Orbiter and allow that allows for uh, of course projection images, gobo images, shutter cuts etc and hard light applications. Further we have the Dome Mini. The Dome Mini is a uh, smaller, compact, more rugged alternative to the f normal fabric domes that you would use in such applications. And this gives an omnidirectional light output um, and at, at maximum output. So it, it's more translucent than the fabric domes. So this is a you know compact, low cost or uh, affordable alternative to the fabric domes. So the QLM tells the light what kind of uh, accessories on it. Exactly. So, with each device, you know, that is, you know, um, uh, mounting on the QLM system, we have we have this uh, coding coding ring here. So the orbiter understands which accessory is mounted and will t potentially adjust settings uh, uh, according to the ex actual accessory that is mounted. Further, like on the docking ring, um, there is 48 volt power passed through on the on this uh, um, the device here as well. So that could, you know, uh, control like something like motors or uh, in the case of the docking ring, it's actually controlling the, the small fan that we have in there to, you know, cool the optics from from the heat that comes from the LED engine, right? And uh, you could uh, also record that metadata, right? So yes, that's another thing that is, that is in the work as well. That you know, um, you know, camera and lighting are coming together, and it's 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 of course crucial to know, um, you know, for post production, etc. You know, to to have have information about you know what setting has the light been run at. And at Ari, we're rolling out a whole series of you know metadata suite that you you know will work make workflow easier in the long run and hence you know the information of which accessory has been mounted to the orbiter you know is contained in this metadata as well and that could also contain you know some certain settings in terms of you know fan control etc cetera, etc cetera. that that also flows with the metadata as well well the orbiter seems really versatile but you guys just keep coming up with more accessories to make it even more versatile even so yeah that's that's the whole approach we've been we've been thinking about that you know from the very beginning and you know certain items have been there from the very beginning you know like the open face soft boxes snapbacks etc etc and now with the docking ring we're stepping more into the you know heart light or you know um, uh, defined light you know also in, into different market areas yeah you know, so it opens up for broadcast market it opens up for theatrical applications even where people you know uh, would really demand these accessories so and also with the stuff that is coming later this year there's more to come um, we will we will even step further into that market so the overture is a really a platform and it has been thought about it being a platform right away from the beginning so uh, and yeah, and if there is ideas that come in from the market, we talk to DPs all the time, you know, and they, some have the wildest ideas, you know, uh, uh, you know, you know, with the docking ring, um, uh, that was one of them, or with uh, the QLM mounting system, we have a very versatile system to to make customized accessories as well. I forgot to show you one thing, and that is actually something that resulted by the co request of a, of a DP, and this is what we call the glass cover. The glass cover basically is nothing but a, a glass plate mounted into the cap um, QLM system as well, and this unleashes the full potential of the orbiter. This is unrestricted output from the orbiter and uh, gives, you, gives you the max amount of output and uh, also a single crisp hard shadow. Um, it has 60 degree, 60 degree beam angle, and therefore, you know, if you really only want to use the orbiter as a uh, flood or, you know, as a real, real, you know, single point of light source with a, with a hard shadow, then this is the way to go. Can you show us how we can change the uh, QLM? You push push the, um, the lock and then you turn the QLM system. You take the um, docking ring together with the shutter barrel and uh, lens out. Then you place it on an even surface. You unlock this little thumb screw here, and then you can then you can slide open the lever, and then you, with a little bit of a tilt, 
and mount the optics. Then you bring a new one and you need to make sure that you have the shutter barrel as well. It's not only the lens tube, it's a combination of the lens tube and the shutter barrel. And then you take it, tilt a little bit, and then shift it over, close the lever, close the thumb screw, and then you're all set. We actually recommend to keep the thumb screw a little loose so you can still rotate the shutter barrel inside the docking ring for focusing. Then you take the whole package, slide it into the QLM system, and that's it. So I noticed when you uh, pulled the lens that the light went off and then it came back on. That must be a safety feature. Correct. Uh, whenever, whenever we remove uh, an optical accessory from the orbiter, the light shuts down in order to protect the system. Um, this is due to heat, this is due to uh, you know, um, getting debris onto, onto the lens surfaces. So uh, we, need to, we need to kind of uh, shut it off. And then as soon as you mount a valid accessory as well, it will turn on again. Also, uh, the fixture, the light output from uh, the orbiter directly without any accessory would not be suitable for any kind of application anyway. Thank you very much, Marcus. You're welcome, James.